back to Maxwell Stars Beer Review. Tonight we're up here in Moncton at the Pump House Brewery, and I got a chance to actually stop here and, you know, try a small beer while I'm here. I'm going to take a look at their Muddy River Stout and see where you can find it right here. It is black color, roasty aroma. You know what, I'm going to get into the details here. They just served it to me and had no head on it when I got it, uh, but it's, it's very black in color. I can't see anything through that. Pitch black. And... If it had more head, it would look like it's got a like a very chocolatey brown appearance, but it might just be the way they poured it. Who knows? Anyway, I'm going to give it a sniff. Not a whole lot of smell. It's very chocolatey. Hint of coffee and maybe a little bit of like a fruity note. You get a fruity note on that? I didn't smell it. But it's a very roasted coffee chocolate smell. Hmm. It smells really good. Not very strong, but it smells good. Let's give it a taste. Yeah. Touch of chocolate up front. A little bit like a, a roasted malt espresso kind of uh, bitterness throughout the mouth. A, a, a bit of a coffee flavor in there as well. Like more like a gourmet coffee. It's definitely dry, but it's it's also very light and watery for a, a stout. It's not bad. The roasted bitterness is what sticks in your mouth, but it's not a, like a very strong. This is a. It's, it, it tastes like it's meant to be a, it's a stout, but it's meant to be a, like a, a sessionable beer, something you can drink a lot of. It reminds me a bit of Guinness without the creamy texture. But it's not, it's not as bland to the point of the, uh, as the Sydney Street Stout at Gahan. Not bad. I'm going to sit down with this one and we'll come back with some thoughts. Here you back. Pump House's Muddy River Stout. So, what do we think of it, this particular one? Did you want to say anything, hun? Uh, it reminded me of Guinness, um, but it's it's very watery. But it's not like it's a bad thing. I think it could be a good drink to drink a drink a lot of easily. It's just I'm, I'm kind of let down. I was kind of expecting something a little a little heavier with a little more oomph to it. That's all. No, exactly. I mean, many stouts out there ride the that don't ride the balance between a watery, like, come off as being more watery than they do come off as being, uh, like, a flavorful beer uh, that aren't really heavy enough for stouts, and they end up being bad. This one's actually not bad at all. It's it's almost more porter-like, though, I think, in its taste. It's, it's a little too thin to be a stout, but all the great stout flavors are there. To be totally honest, though, it is a little bit of a letdown, though, considering we came up here thinking... Hey, Muddy River Stout from Pump House. Pump House makes great beer. Well, I, I can sort of see why this isn't in bottles yet. But it's certainly not a bad beer to sit down and enjoy at the pub. All in all, I'd say it's, it reminds me very much of like a hand Sydney Street Stout, except for not as bland. I enjoy this one a whole lot more. But it's not as good as like local stuff like uh, Pickaroons or the Timber Hog or. Um, Big Tide's, uh, what is the Big Tide called theirs? Oh, Whistlepig. Whistlepig, yeah, that's it. Or even Garrison's Martello Stout. Martello Stout's just friggin' awesome for a local stout. Anyway, um, I'm going to give this one a high three, maybe. Does that sound good? I was thinking three. Three? Yeah. yeah. Neely's giving it a three. I'm going to give it a three out of five. So that's what you got for here for Muddy River Stout. It's not... A great stout, but it's uh, it's not bad and certainly enjoyable with food. Anyway, thanks for watching Maxwell Stars Beer Reviews. Hope you were able to hear me because it's rather noisy here at the Pump House. I'll talk to you guys later. Cheers.